everyone this is Manak uh, from Civil Center and today I'm going to make the pile foundation uh, along with the pile cap without using any kind of additional add-ons uh, which are needed to be purchased uh, from the software so with the help of normal add-ons default add-ons available I'm going to make the uh, pile foundation and we're going to see how to do that so uh, this is the uh, default d software interface open with Indian environment and uh, we'll place a uh, particular column and uh, and then uh, footing and then the pile cap so let's get started so just will uh, take a single column here and uh, for the column we can place the footing here so the column size and grade you can you can change as per your requirement let's just place the column here so the column has been placed so uh, i'm going to give it uh, to see the bottom is at zero to so make sure that the bottom is at zero so now we're going to give it a normal footing so for the footing we'll have here if you go to concrete we'll have this various option of footing here so we'll go for normal uh, pad footing and just uh, insert the footing at the center here so once this is done and whatever the depth of the footing here uh, it is 500 so we can do this uh, top as suppose 500 and this as your zero and also click on modify and also for the column also uh, just select the column and uh, uh, do the bottom of the column to uh, 500 instead of this 0 so it will start from this 500 so this is pretty simple uh, things till now so this is the column and uh, this is the particular footing so now once this is done uh, then is the time for the pile caps so now the pile cap is usually above the ground level so that's why we are treating this as the ground level so that's why i have made this shifted this upwards so the now the piles will go below it so there are various kinds of uh, you know pile caps two pile three pile and the shapes also you can make the tapered footings also you can make i have sh already shown in a, in a video how to do that so the thing is about the piles so if you can do the pile here uh, if we look at the apps which are available here default apps which are available if you press uh, your uh, control plus uh, F and this will show this application and components you can also click from here also you just click on pile uh, you will not find uh, default uh, you know arrangement which is present here but reinforcement of pile cap will find here so we can use this later but the, for the pile we don't have any default template but we do have if you are using the uh, you know paid version of this so you can easily uh, download it but for now without we'll show you without using any template how can you do it so the idea is simple we'll just use columns here and uh, we'll go to the top view here so first of all i'm going to just go to select here in the grid and after that we'll just go to create views along grid lines and then uh, create and then and then we'll open uh, let's say the plan zero that will be helpful and we'll click on ok and you can go to window here and go to tile vertically and in the plan zero uh, we can just uh, create our columns here and here uh, I'll just create this column and uh, we're going to go for your circular columns here so here uh, you can go here circular sections and in the circular sections you'll have this uh, circular round bar or you can have you know various uh, profiles here circular round bar and and you can just give the diameter here so let's give uh, here a diameter of 300 mm and then uh, just click on ok and uh, you have a material m30 and this is a circular round bar of your uh, 300 mm diameter so the bo bottom will be here we'll just choose this bottom as your zero or the top as zero and the bottom as the total length of the pile so let it be six meters so it will be minus uh, six thousand six and then three zero so this will be the depth which we will make so now we can place the pile like this and don't need to expand this like this the pile can be you know placed here in any view but as you can see we can need some uh, reference lines for placing the pile so that's what exactly we're going to do here create some reference lines so this is very easy to create reference lines you just need to know the positions in which you're going to make the reference line for that you can go to edit 
and you have this uh, you know construction object here and uh, copy with offset and you can just give the offsets here and the value which you can give here so let's give uh, I think uh, 300 from this particular value or before that before that we need to make a line here and uh, we need to make ourselves line for this thing to work and we're going to make this line up to here and another line we can make from here to here and also we can make some line from here to here one from here to here another from here to here another from here to here so after making this lines then we can go construction object copy with offset and then 300 and then you can you can see this construction lines here and you can just create this points very easily so you can choose your points where you want to make the piles so you go back to concrete and then your uh, columns and the concrete column everything is set already and you just need to uh, select this center line so uh, you can see uh, whether this center line is uh, getting selected so if it, if it is not getting selected you need to change uh, some settings and then after that you can just click on escape and then uh, select the setting of snap to intersection points and then you should be able to select the proper place so don't need to expand it now now because it will be visible anyway uh, just do this and one is here and another one is here so this is the you know pile uh, which has been done and after this pile is done you can just put the reinforcement here just press ctrl plus f and loop in the application components and you'll go here and select on the pile so you just click here and then you can change this arrangements uh, whatever you are having here so if you're going to give a cover of 75 and you can give a cover of 75 here along all these sides so this you can give a cover of 50 minimum cover if these are required primary top bars you can just change this diameter of the bar f 500 you can just do suppose i want to do f 500 and 10 mm bars so we can just uh, change the diameter of this bars and also the spacing of this bar secondary top bars also and you do this uh, fe500 and then your 10 mm bars so like this you can change these things and click on modify apply okay and then you can just select this object and after that you can just click on the mouse middle option and after that the reinforcement will appear you can make your required changes in the reinforcement and for the column also column also you can select this you know uh, your macro number 82 it is round column reinforcement and uh, you can just change the all the things which are available here the uh, grade or number of bars uh, six number of bars and this uh, grade of steel so suppose i'm going to use the fe 500 and uh, the 10 mm bars so like this we are going to use here and uh, you can just change all the spacings also and the cover also everything can change and after that you just need to select uh, the you know the piles which you are having and it will just simply by clicking on that it will just give you the reinforcement and if you want to see it is it the top view if you want to see it in detail i'll just uh, close this one just press ctrl plus r and select this uh, uh, middle intersection and then using the left click of the mouse you can rotate it so you can see the reinforcement of the pile and and also the pile cap so you can make this tapered also using the you know previous video uh, which uh, i had given you so that also can be done and like this way you can make the uh, you know pile along with the pile cap and after that also the column reinforcement so if you found this video useful make sure you like this video this makes the youtube algorithm happy and also gives us support so thanks for watching have a great day